right. Hi. Um, okay. Um, I'm one of the few people to study an animal that can punch its way out of an aquarium. It's not Chuck Norris. It's a mantis shrimp. Um, so I was tasked with finding a way of taking the uh, muscle activity leading up to their famous ballistic strike, which I will explain soon, and, uh, and doing that in a cost-effective way in a way that's easy to do for other people. It took me weeks to do this. Um, and when I finally did it, I felt more than excited. I felt awed and I, I felt wonder about the world that I was living in. Um, so as Alex mentioned, I'm, I'm Dan, I'm a Background Brains uh, fellow, and um, I'm interested in the moments that we have as scientists and bringing them into the lives of ordinary people. And the way that I did that is by making a classroom laboratory exercise to be done in high schools, colleges, and even just for fun. Um, so this is the man I'm striking. This is my EMG. The day I got this is how excited I was. <laughs> so, before I talk about the lab, I need to explain why I'm studying mantis shrimp in the first place. So, as you may have heard, they, they punch, they, they use this, this is their arm. And what's really interesting about their punch is that they punch hard enough that the surface of the target of the punch actually is the site of what's called cavitation, where the water heats rapidly to approximately the, the, the temperature of the surface of the sun, and, um, and, then, it, and then it collapses, and it releases light, heat, and sound. And the way you can do this is by summing the energy and individual muscle switches in a mechanical conduit. And that mechanical conduit isn't the spring, it's this. It's called the mural saddle. It's in the shape of a hyperbolic flat parabola that allows you to sort of deform it and add energy to it. Um, the other reason that I was studying mantis shrimp is because they're incredibly diverse. There are more than 500 species of mantis shrimp around the world. They all taste great. And unfortunately, less than 1% of their striking parameters have actually been um, analyzed by scientists. Uh, and this is where I think uh, citizen science can come in. So we have this huge gap in knowledge uh, and in scientific fluency, right? Around the world, this is leading to uh, climate change skepticism, it's leading to people being indifferent about waning biodiversity, and that's bad. I think a lab can make people more informed about science and also more um, engaged with it, make them want to fight for it, right? Also, I think that if we put this in the hands of citizen scientists, we can actually make a dent in this 500 plus species that we know next to nothing about, right? So I'm going to take you through the lab really quick. Um, first, I have students make their own EMG probes. And I do that because if you want to understand a physiological uh, phenomenon, you need to understand the electronics of how you, of how you actually measure it, right? Um, next, I have uh, students do a surgery where, and don't worry, it's not as intimidating as it seems. Um, this is actually pretty resilient to small mistakes, and each small mistake that you make is a learning opportunity for mantis and anatomy. And then finally, I think Students and I have them elicit strikes from these animals that they implanted themselves, and of course they made themselves, right? Uh, and so, you, what to do that, you have to take into account everything you've learned about them so far. You have to take into account um, their anatomy, how do they strike, and why, and what at, and their ecology. So, where is this species of mantis shrimp from, and what is it like to eat and attack? Uh, as it turns out, if all else fails, my index finger is a super stimulus. So, um, I designed this lab because I wanted to be able to bring students and bring people to the frontier of human knowledge, okay, where, where science is being done. Because that's where these three moments happen. So my hope with this lab is that one day, instead of having been one of the only people to study mantis in the world, I will be one of them all. 